1993, several members of the Marara Road community were diagnosed with severe lead poisoning. Most of them were children. The source? Slag from a nearby secondary lead smelter deposited on roadways and properties as landfill material. Though lead is a metal that occurs naturally, it has long been known as a neurotoxin, a substance that adversely affects the central nervous system even at low levels of exposure. As a consequence, actions such as the removal of leaded gasoline and other lead-based products from the market have been initiated throughout the world in the Caribbean. Since its inception in 1995, the Environmental Management Authority has been instrumental in remediating contamination sites in Trinidad, the first being the Demarara Road community in 2000. If not properly and suitably disposed of, used lead acid batteries can contaminate soil and groundwater, thereby posing a threat to both human health and the environment. A 1993 report on lead pollution at Demarara Road conducted by Dr. Ivan Changyan, senior lecturer at the University of the West Indies, confirmed that the high concentrations of lead found in the soil had the potential to affect over 400 residents, including 180 children. In 1998, 10-year-old Ronald Sudin died of lead poisoning. He lived with his parents at Demerara Road. Of the 101 children examined in that area, 12 tested positively for high blood lead levels. The Environmental Management Act actually requires the EMA to engage in activities which deals with remediation and restoration. Recognizing that lead contamination is one of the main issues with regards to remediation in Trinidad and Tobago, the EMA has aimed to look at and remediate at least two sites in Trinidad and Tobago per year. So this is the strategy that we will utilize in terms of, of the issue of lead contamination. We are currently on site at the most recently lead remediated site conducted by the EMA at Nurse Trace Guayaguayari. We discovered the site through a collaborative effort by the Ministry of Health and the en Environmental Management Authority where a blood lead level survey was conducted nationally, visiting 64 primary schools, testing students between the ages of 5 to 7. Well, lead remediation is essentially um, decontamination, an area that has been exposed to lead contamination, supported la by laboratory testing. So once you determine the extent of the contamination and the volume of contamination, then you get inside there and you remove the lead contamination. You replace it with clean soil and then you treat the contaminated lead at an off-site location for disposal. One particular resident was in the zone of the contamination and had to be temporarily relocated. The impact zone was screened off with the use of barriers and signage to restrict access to the site and prevent cross-contamination. Lead in the environment in Trinidad and Tobago has come from two main sources. One is the issue of smelting lead acid batteries for a variety of, uh, of, of tools which are utilized, for example, in the fisheries, the fisheries sector. The other has come from use of lead in gasoline. And I think it is important to recognize that the government of Trinidad and Tobago, in addition to other governments from within the Caribbean, invested heavily, it was significant investment, to remove lead from gasoline. So we no longer have leaded gasoline in Trinidad and Tobago and that was intended to spare the population from the negative impacts of lead. So you know even while this was a major investment the issue of lead effects on human beings in terms of uh, human health has been recognized. The EMA's remediation of environmentally degraded sites goes hand in hand with its mandate to safeguard human health and the environment. Through our public awareness and education programs, we aim to enhance the understanding of environmental issues within Trinidad and Tobago. People need to be aware of the dangers associated with handling, storage and smelting of such batteries and take the necessary precautions. Contact the EME to find out more about the dangers of lead and what you can do to prevent lead poisoning.